All right, Shalom Akiyam. Shalom Akiyam. Call Hala, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Barakaha Chodash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that do rule well. <clears throat> Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akiyam around the four corners of the world, kicking this truth uh, in all hope and sincerity and always in charity, okay? Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Barakaha Chodash, Barakatam. To all you elect brethren, wherever you may be. And Salakia for my voice. <clears throat> I'm still feeling a little under the weather. Like I said in my last video. So Salakia, if my voice is kind of raspy and cutting out. Um, but in this lesson, I want to get into proving through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That it was Yahweh Shai in the beginning who, who was creating uh, the, 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 the earth. You know, uh, that's a that's a, a, a mystery of the kingdom of heaven that's not given unto all. So, like, let me drink some of this water. Um, but without a further ado, let's hop right into it. Okay, this is Genesis chapter one and verse one. It says, "In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth." And most people will read this at a face value. And they'll think when it's saying God here, it's speaking of the Heavenly Father, you know, the the, the Almighty Father, you know, the, the the highest power being Yahweh. But however, that's not that's not the case, you know. And and the uh people will stumble and they have a hard time understanding uh later on in, in verse twenty six in verse twenty six, Salakia. So It says, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Damn, Salakia. But in that 26th verse, you know, he says, let us make man in our image, meaning that there would be more than one person there. So, uh, you know, people try to uh, throw in the whole Trinity, do the Trinity doctrine in there, you know, or they'll try to say, oh, uh, well, no, that was uh, God. Or, 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 you know, they'll if they admit that it was uh, Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly called Jesus, they'll say that, well, they were one they're, they're one power, you know? Well, like I said, like the Trinity Doctrine, you know? Everybody is God, but but they're not at the same time, which is complete madness, man, you know? And they can't break that down properly. And through the spirit of power, Yah, Bashem, Yah, Washai, you know, uh, uh, it was open. <clears throat> we got the eye salve to be able to understand what it's trying to tell us. Right. So first, first of all, let's go into, uh, damn, I'm Salakia. My voice is real messed up, you know, but hey, you know, the, the, the word got to go out, you know. Um, so let's go into the original text, the original language that this was written in, in the first place, because we understand that the Old Testament was written in Hebrew, right? And the new and the New Testament was written uh, uh, later on in Greek. Okay, so let's go into that Hebrew word God and let's get that correct understanding. Okay, because uh, another thing to realize when when we read this is okay in the next chapter here in verse four, it says Lord God. You know how come it's different here than from the first chapter? You know. And let's click on let's click on this first. Right. So it says these are the generations. This is uh, Genesis two and four. These are the generations of the heaven and of the earth when they were created and the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Right. So it says the Lord God. And here we have Yahweh. Yahweh. Right. Yahweh. Uh, so now let's go to Genesis one. It says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, 
All right, let's get that Hebrew word for the word God. It's Alahai <clears throat> Salakia. Alahayim. Alahayim. Okay? Which means what? Rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, gods. Okay? Let's see what the strong definition says. Gods in the ordinary sense specifically used um, of the supreme God occasionally applied by the way of majesties, uh, superlative angels, exceeding gods, uh, great judges, mighty. So gods, you know, you know, gods, angels, <clears throat> which makes more sense. Okay, so now we know that what? That word, uh, it's talking about the angels, you know, the powers, the divine ones, okay? Uh, you know, rulers, judges, which ultimately, you know, is, is, is that's the elect. But hey, let's, let's, let's put that word in there for the word God now. So it says, in the beginning, the powers or the angels created the heaven and the earth. Okay, so now we got that understanding. So down in 26... When it says, uh, and God said, let us make man in our image, it's talking about the Alahayim. You know? We'll get that there too. Alahayim. Okay? So that's that's what that's talking about right there when it said when it when it has that word God, you know? <clears throat> and let's get a little deeper into this, showing you that Yahweh Shai. Salakia. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> that Yahweh Shai was there with the angels. Okay? This is John chapter 1. And verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So what does that mean? Does that mean that the Word was God? So that's one person? Well, let's let's jump down to verse 14 real quick. It says, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. You know, and who and who was that uh uh who was that person that was made flesh? That's talking about Yahweh Shai, right? The only begotten of the Father. Okay. Uh, he was the word. You know, he came in the volume of the book. The book was written of him. <clears throat> okay. So now we understand that when it says word, it's talking about Yahweh Shai. So now let's do the same thing. In the beginning was Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai was in the beginning. You know, did he not state uh, in Revelations, that I am the Alpha, I am the Ah, you know, the beginning. I am the uh, uh, I am the the Alpha and the Omega. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Salakia, Aloha, <laughs> Alpha. It's Revelations chapter one and eight. It's red letter, so you know it's Yahweh wish I speak. It. It says, I am Alpha and Omega, you know, and he would have been speaking in the Hebrew. So I am the A and the Ta, the beginning and the ending, said the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. You know, uh, so going back into that, John, we get that understanding that, OK, in the beginning was Yahweh Shai. He stated that he was in the beginning. OK. Yeah, and that he's going to be the end, you know? Uh, and the word, and Yahweh Shai was with God. And Yahweh Shai was God. So was Yahweh Shai the most high power? Uh, let's go into, let's go into that word, okay? Theos, okay? This is the Greek so now we got Theos, <clears throat> a god or goddess, 
a, a general name of deities or divinities. And then you guys hear this madness, the Trinity. Um, okay. Magistries and judges. Okay. So now, what does the word Theo mean? Uh, word forming from element meaning God, God's God, uh, from Greek Theos, God, right? So Theo, <coughs> singular means God, right? Does it say Theos? No, it says the. Uh, Salakia. Does it say Theo? No, it says Theos, meaning more than one, plural. So gods, you know, same thing like we read in that Genesis. The angels, the gods, the powers, the Allahayim. You know, if this was Hebrew, it would say Allahayim. So in the beginning was Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai was with the Allahayim or the powers. And Yahweh Shai was a power. He was a uh, 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 angel, he he, you know, he was a a, a divine uh 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 that word the word slipped me, you know, but but he was one of the Allahayim, okay, the highest ranking Allahayim at that. All right, so now that we got that, um, let's go into. Uh, Colossians, uh, Colossians chapter one and verse 12, it says, giving thanks unto the father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom, who is it talking about? Let's go. Let's get back up and get that understanding into the kingdom of his dear son in whom. So talking about his son, me and Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son, right? In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature, the first born of every creature okay for by let's get this word creature here you know creation thing created uh creation anything created <laughs> it's cold you know ordinance you know creation okay so it was the image uh, of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature. So the first before every creation, you know, is not this world a creation uh, are not the clouds a creation, you know. So he's the first creation. OK, for by him were all things created. Talking about Yahweh Shai. Giving you that deeper understanding that Yahweh Shai was the one in Genesis with the Allah I am creating. Okay? Uh, for by him were all things created. Because what? Ultimately, Yahweh Shai created those other angels. You know, he created the other Allah I am. You know, the elect. It says, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities, or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. You know? God, so what? He, he was the firstborn, he was the first uh, 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 a creation. And from that first creation, he was given that, that, that power, or that authority, or, the, or that, that clear, that gold, you know, that green light by his father, Yahweh. And so Yahweh Shai got to creating these other things, man, according to the will that Yahweh has set. Okay? So Yahweh 
<coughs> Salakia. Yahweh used Yahweh Shai to create these things. All right? And, and we'll, we'll, we'll get further into that here, you know? Uh, so let, let, let's, let's get into that word only begotten. So it's a salakia. So like, it's a two part word, right? Only meaning one. Right? Uh, only unique, solitary, one like from N, one. Okay? Only, right? Now let's look up begotten. Begotten. Procreated. You know? Uh, from baguette. Let's see what that says. To procreate. You know? To, so to create. To procreate. To make. You know? When you go into a, 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 a Matthew, it talks about how this person begot this person, make, meaning that that person came out of them. They created that person, you know? So what? Yahweh Shai is the only begotten son of Yahweh. Meaning that he was he was the son that uh, he was the son of Yahweh, the only son of Yahweh. Okay? You know? Uh so from there let's go to Proverbs. You know, and and all this all of this is just to prove that Yahweh Shai was in the beginning. Okay? This is Proverbs chapter eight and verse twenty-two, and uh, th this is this is, this is a mighty piece of scripture. You know, this is Yapa, okay. It says, "The Lord Yahweh possessed me in the beginning of His way, before His works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was." Okay, when there were no depths, I was brought forth. Did we not just read that he was the only creation, the first creation? You know, uh, when there were no fountains abounding with water before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. Well, as yet he had not made the earth nor the fields or the highest part of the dust of the world, because what? Yahweh gave that, that command to do so, right? Uh, when he prepared the heavens, I was there. Uh, when he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds from above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment. When he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him as one brought up with him. Now, let's go into this real quick. Right. Then I was by him as one brought up. Brought work, brought up. Workmen, master workmen or skilled workmen. You know. Uh, skilled, you know. So, hey, just, just just further going into it, you know. I I, I was by him as a, a builder, with him, and I was daily his delight. You know, daily his delight. <clears throat> that has to uh that 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 has to bring to your memory uh that account in Matthew, which we'll get real quick. This is Matthew chapter 3 and verse 16. And Yahweh Shai, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the spirit of, of, of Yahweh descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Okay. So it says, I was daily his delight, right? He, uh, the, the, the father said, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. Oh, and Salakia, I forgot to, 
to go into this, you know, and we'll get into this real quick too. You know, in whom I am well pleased. Willingly to be ready to prefer to choose rather to be pleased with to take pleasure in to be favorably inclined. Uh, uh, to take pleasure. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's go back to that Proverbs. Uh, okay. Delight. There it is. So it says, in who I am well pleased, right? He had pleasure in him. This is the etymology for for uh, uh, that word um, where it says his delight. You know, I was I was with him. I was daily his delight, delight, going into delight, enjoyment, delight, object of delight, pleasant enjoyment, delight. Pleasure, to have pleasure in it, you know? To what? he The father was well pleased in him. He was a pleasure, you know? He was a delight. It says, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of the earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep uh, my ways. Hear instruction and be wise, refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me. Blessed is the man that heareth me, uh, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my door. And what? Hey, ultimately, Yahweh Shai is the door, you know, the door to the sheepfold. It says, for whoso findeth me, findeth life. You know, hey, how, how do we find that? Man, we got to go through the Father. Yahweh Shai said, no, you, we can't get to the Father, but through him. Okay. Uh findeth life and shall obtain favor of Yahweh. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that love, all they that hate me love death. You know? So, hey, the, the speak, again, speaking of Yahweh Shai being there before, you know? Um, and I'm going to finish it off with these two and Lord's will. Uh, it was edifying, Okay. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 1. It says, Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how all how that all our fathers were under the cloud and passed through the sea. Talking about what? The exodus from Egypt, right? So it says, And we're all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. And all did eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drink of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Yahushua Mashiach so showing you that Yahushua was there even during the exodus man you know so he was there in the beginning he created the earth he was there in Genesis man Yahushua or Yahushua was from the beginning okay uh, that's 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 what we're getting at here you know, this is John chapter 17 and verse five. It says, and now, O father, glorify thou. Uh, Con. Uh, we'll just start at one. Okay. This is John chapter 17 and verse 1. These words spake Yahweh Shai and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee, as thou have given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many thou hast given him. You know? Uh, did, did, didn't Yahweh Shai say that? Uh, there, you know, just going off, going off topic, but you know, uh, it brought to my mind how Yahweh Shai said, uh, "I pray not for uh, for the world, but I pray for for uh, uh, 
them that thou hast given me of the world, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know. It says, uh, and this is life eternal, that they might know the only true power, you know, the only true God, and Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. You know, uh, uh, he, he exalted the name. You know, he, he, he made it, he, you know, he came in the name of his father, you know, to uh, uh, correcting these people, you know, doing, doing his, his job, you know. Um, uh, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. So again, you know, Yahweh Shai, uh, Salakia, Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai basically a job to do. You know, it's a, a, a task uh, per se, you know. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with before the world was. You know, so what? Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he already had glory before this world was, showing you that how could he have a glory? How how could it, how was that possible? Only possible that he had to have been since the beginning. You know, the A and the Ta, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. So he was in the beginning, and from that beginning, he is the one who created this earth. Okay, he he he, uh, uh, he was the one who, who, who put in the labor uh, to do to make this earth, man. You know everything that we see, everything we don't see. You know. So hey, you know, and and he's coming back with that same glory, you know, and, and that time is coming soon. So hey, uh, you know, I hope that through the spirit this was edifying. I want to give all praises. Honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barakah Chodash, double honors to the elders and apostles, which teaches this truth of great millstone that do rule well, uh, uh, and peace, blessing, salutation unto the brethren, okay? Until the next time, I'm going to say Shalom Wam.